What is up guys, Goalkeeper1 is here and today I'm going to be showing you how to wash your goalkeeper gloves. So before I kind of show you how to wash the gloves, I want to point out that this is not the only way you can wash your gloves. This is just the way that I find the most effective and this is the way that I use. So again, there are other ways you can wash your goalkeeper gloves. This is just the way. I use and it's just one way you can wash your gloves so get into the washing as you can see I turn on the water and what I have with me is a brush I have my pair of gloves of course and I have a glove cleaner so what you want to do is when you turn on the water you don't want to turn on the water too cold or too hot the water should just be warm so the next thing you do is you put your glove under the water just to wet the glove. Wet the outside of the glove first, obviously, then wet the inside of the glove. You do that to both of the gloves. Alright, so when putting on the glove cleaner onto your brush, as you can see, you don't have to put a lot on, just a little is fine. So you put a little bit of soap onto your brush and then you start cleaning your glove. So of course you'll notice that the glove actually will still look dirty just because there's a lot of dirt inside the glove that I haven't yet cleaned. So when beginning to clean the glove, you will notice that the results aren't that, aren't what you expect, but just stay with me. So after you go through your glove once, just brush off the glove with water and then obviously the glove itself. Again, I rinse off the glove just to get some of the stuff, some of the dirt inside the glove out, out of it. And also, I rinse the inside of the glove and again do the same. As you can see, there is actually a lot of dirt inside the glove. There is actually more dirt inside the glove than outside the glove. So when washing your goalkeeper gloves, it is very important to not only wash the outside of your gloves, but also the inside of the gloves. Right now, as you can see, as I'm doing it, it is very important to do that just to get the full effectiveness out of the, out of the procedure itself, of course. And again, of course, I'm putting on the soap, soap on the brush, just a little, no need to put so much soap. And I go second time around cleaning my glove. As you can see, the results are showing a little bit the glove is looking a bit cleaner now and of course I will repeat the procedure multiple times but the results are beginning to show as you can see. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just repeating the process. It's pretty much the same thing, you just keep repeating it because every time you keep getting all the dirt from inside the glove just out of it and that's kind of the main goal. Of course, on the outside of the glove, you wanna make the glove look nice and that is clean, but it is also very important to get all the dirt from inside the glove. Just get all that stuff out and make your glove as fresh as possible. Of course, some gloves are more used than other gloves but still very important to do this. As you can see, I'm putting water inside the glove just again to get the dirt from inside the glove, out of the glove and repeating the procedure.
when it comes to washing your gloves you should probably wash your gloves maybe one time a month don't do it any more than that because of course when you wash your gloves a little bit of the latex comes out comes off so if you do it too much you don't want a lot of the latex to come off and of course you'll be ruining your glove so again just one time a month is fine and you don't want to wait longer too because when the latex starts coming off too much then you can't really wash your glove anymore so you gotta find that spot in the middle where you'll be able to wash your glove with doing minimal damage to the glove itself as you can see after getting putting water inside the glove getting the dirt out of it the glove is looking much cleaner and that kind of explains the fact that a lot of the stuff a lot of the dirt is inside the glove so very important to, as you can see just sque squeeze the glove put water in it and then squeeze the glove again get everything out of there the bigger your glove is the more times you want to do this because the bigger the glove the more dirt there is inside the glove as you can see i got one of my gloves done and you can see the result the glove that i didn't wash is looking much much dirtier than the glove i already washed so even though this procedure may take 10 to 15 minutes it is worth the time as you can see not only the is the glove looking fresh and looking clean it will also be clean inside since the amount of times i wash the glove from the inside so pretty much on the second glove i'm just repeating the procedure it's pretty much the same thing as the first glove so yeah When it comes to the soap, I'm obviously using Goalkeeper Glove Wash. And if you haven't really washed your gloves yet, then I will recommend buying that because using regular soap won't work as well as using Goalkeeper Glove Special Soap. Again, when putting on the glove cleaner on the glove, you don't need to put a lot of it adjust a little works and of course when you give it a try yourself you will see exactly that you you don't need to put a lot of the glove cleaner on the glove When washing the glove, if you want, you can also wash the strap. As you can see, I'm kind of squeezing the strap a little bit. There really isn't any dirt in there, but sometimes if you had a very muddy game, then something that you should also do. Uh, again, you shouldn't really do that all the time because the strap may also get ruined. So yeah, when washing your glove one time a month, just clean your strap a little bit. Especially when the strap is in the color black, you can't really see the dirt, but you should probably just still do it one time per one glove. As you can see, I'm kind of just finishing off the second glove, putting more soap on it. But what I'm doing even more is just getting all the dirt from inside the glove. Again, squeezing the glove. As you can see, a lot of dirt coming out. So it's very important to do that. But the procedure won't be over after I'm glove was done with the second glove. And if you watch until the end of the video, you'll see that there are more important steps at the end of the video so please just stay until the end of the video because there are a couple more important steps that will help you clean out the glove better and 
it will also help the glove dry faster. So yeah, just stay with me until the end of the video for those last steps. So while I'm cleaning the second glove, there's also, so you probably might be wondering like, if, and accept the fact that after cleaning the gloves, they look much nicer and like, what are really the benefits of cleaning the gloves? So the most important benefit of course is that it adds grip to your glove and it gets all the dirt out of the glove, which protects your hand from maybe scratches and possible problems that gloves caused, especially if you don't wash your gloves, then things like irritations on your hand are something that can happen from gloves that are not washed. So again, a very important reason why you should be washing your gloves at least once a month. And to be honest, more than that or less than that, you should probably shouldn't be doing that. So once a month is the ideal number. The ideal number of times you should be washing your glove. As you can see, even though I went and squeezed the water out of the glove multiple, multiple times, there's still dirt inside the glove. So that is why I try to do it as much as possible. And although it takes more time, it is really worth it. Just clean the glove as much as you can. And again, there is a step in the end that will help finish off the cleaning of the glove. And I will show that later when I'm done with the second glove. All right, so I'm done watching both of my gloves. And as you can see, the next thing you do is get a towel. So what you do is you put the towel on the ground and just lay it flat out. And as you can see, I get, of course, I get both of my gloves. Squeeze the last bits of water out from the glove. Just for the sake of them drying faster, just get that last drops of water out of there and I put the gloves put both the of the gloves on the towel and wrap the towel, the towel around the first glove and then the towel around the second glove as you can see the gloves aren't touching each other in the towel it's very important that the gloves do not touch each other in the towel so after you do that, you pick up the towel and you try to squeeze it. So what that does is two things. First, it gets the water out of the glove, so it will help it dry faster. But then the second thing it does is also get that dirt out from the glove. So after you're done with this, you will also notice that your towel may be a bit dirty just because of the, the last dirt that you didn't clean yourself. And that usually doesn't matter how well you clean your gloves, the towel will still be dirty. And it, those are just signs that the towel is helping you clean the glove and at the same time dry the glove. So what you do after that is 
you lay the towel down and you leave it there for two to three hours. So right now when I'm opening up the gloves, that is actually two to three hours later. So after you open up the gloves, there's two things that you, know, you will notice. And some of the things I already pointed out. One of them is that the towel will be wet, which means that it got the water out from the gloves. The second one will be is that your towel may, may be a little bit dirty. That's because the towel was getting the last pieces of dirt from the glove. So the, the last and final thing you do is you get, you put your glove to dry and you will also notice that even though the glove is wet, it is not as wet as it was before putting it into the towel. So again, do not skip the towel step. The towel step is very important. So yeah, guys, after that, you just leave your gloves to dry out and that's it. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you found it useful. If you did, click the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, not only subscribe to the channel, also click the notification bell to not miss any of my videos. And uh, another thing is just leave, leave a comment down below what you thought about the video, if you liked it. What do you want to see next? What are some things that you want to see in this channel? And yeah, guys, thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.